rich. Put cinnamon and sugar in the water on October 15th and have abundance, Buddhist teachings. Wealth is not about having a lot of money, it's about having a lot of options. Chris Rock Have you ever wondered if abundance could be as simple as the ingredients sitting in your kitchen? It may sound strange, but in ancient Buddhist teachings, there's a powerful practice that reveals this exact truth. By combining cinnamon and sugar in water on a very specific day, October 15th, you can unlock a flow of wealth and prosperity into your life. For those of you who've tried everything, books, strategies, manifesting techniques, but are still struggling to find financial success, maybe the solution isn't in what you've tried, but in something you've overlooked. Sometimes, the most profound answers are hidden in the simplest practices. Buddhism has long held secrets about prosperity, and today I'm sharing one of those with you. Imagine performing this simple ritual, and suddenly doors to financial opportunities start opening, money flows with ease, and unexpected gains begin to show up in your life. It sounds unreal, but many have experienced this shift through this ancient teaching. If you're ready to transform your financial life with an easy, accessible ritual, stay tuned. But first, make sure to subscribe to The Journey of Wisdom and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on life-changing content like this. Hit the like button if you're curious to try this wealth-attracting ritual and share this video with someone who also seeks abundance. Let's dive into this powerful practice and uncover how this simple combination can open the door to wealth and abundance in your life. Number 1. Unlock prosperity with cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon and sugar, while common ingredients in our kitchens, carry profound spiritual and energetic significance across various cultures. These humble substances have long been used in rituals to attract prosperity, harmony, and positive energy. In esotericism, cinnamon is viewed as a potent symbol of abundance, believed to draw in wealth and success. Sugar, conversely, represents sweetness, a harmonizing force that promotes good vibrations and favorable circumstances. These interpretations transcend specific traditions showing up in spiritual practices around the world, from Buddhism to Hinduism to Afro-Brazilian faiths. In Buddhism, for instance, it's said that natural elements like cinnamon and sugar harbor energies that when harnessed with the right intention can bring about surprising transformations. This perspective echoes the idea that the simplest things, when used mindfully, can have the most profound impact. Cinnamon, with its warm and invigorating essence, is used in Buddhist rituals to purify energies, create spiritual protection, and activate prosperity. Sugar, representing life's sweetness, symbolizes the attraction of blessings and harmony. When combined, these ingredients create a powerful ritual, inviting the universe to conspire in your favor, guiding prosperity and well-being your way. The mind is everything. What you think, you become, said the Buddha, reminding us that the energy and intention we infuse into our actions are what shape our reality. Rituals using cinnamon and sugar tap into these natural energies, linking us to an ancient universal network of spiritual wisdom. Various traditions affirm this concept. In Hinduism, cinnamon is associated with Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity, and in Afro-Brazilian rituals, sugar is used to smooth life's path and cultivate harmonious relationships. These shared practices reveal a consensus. Such simple ingredients can transform our energy fields and open us to abundance. Yet despite their spiritual potency, these ingredients are readily accessible to everyone, reflecting the core Buddhist principle that true power often lies in simplicity. We don't need complex or expensive rituals to unlock prosperity. 
It's the focus and intention we bring to the process that truly matters. As we dive into the details of how to perform this ritual, it's crucial to remember that each step carries its own significance. Every action, no matter how small, channels energy and any deviation from the process may alter the outcome. Buddhist teachings remind us that abundance isn't solely about wealth, but rather a balance of energies. Cinnamon and sugar are symbolic of this harmony. Prosperity, in its truest sense, is about aligning our inner world with the flow of abundance around us, allowing not just financial wealth, but also peace, happiness and fulfillment to enter our lives. Have you ever noticed how we tend to overcomplicate the process of attracting what we desire? Often, we think we need to exert extraordinary effort, make costly investments, or use difficult techniques to achieve success. However, Buddhism teaches us that the path to abundance is much simpler. It's not about the complexity of the ritual, but about the energy and mindfulness we bring to it. When we perform a ritual with cinnamon and sugar, we're tapping into the natural flow of the universe's positive energies. Many people experience almost immediate results from these rituals. Unexpected financial gains, new opportunities, or a sense of increased well-being. These outcomes are a direct reflection of how we're aligning our personal energy with the broader currents of abundance. In Buddhism, the idea of interconnectedness is essential. Everything is linked through the energies that circulate around us. And when we use elements like cinnamon and sugar with mindful intention, we're connecting with these natural forces. Cinnamon not only attracts wealth, but also purifies the environment, clearing away obstacles that might be blocking your path to success. Sugar sweetens your life, helping to attract not only money, but also harmonious relationships and new opportunities. When you perform this ritual, you are aligning your life with the positive vibrations of the universe. Imagine waking up and noticing small positive changes in your daily life, maybe unexpected financial windfalls, new opportunities that seem to appear out of nowhere, or just a sense of peace and security regarding your finances. This is the potential power of the ritual, which doesn't rely on magic or complex processes, but on the focus and energy you put into it. As the Buddha once said, with our thoughts, we make the world. When you direct your thoughts and intentions toward attracting prosperity, the universe listens. The beauty of this practice is its simplicity. Anyone can do it, regardless of spiritual background. You don't need to be a Buddhist practitioner to benefit from these teachings. You just need to understand that everything around you is energy, and that by channeling that energy intentionally, you can attract the outcomes you desire. So, as we move into the practical steps of this ritual, remember, every detail matters. Each step you take is a step toward aligning your energy with the prosperity you seek. With the right focus and intention, you can begin to see the flow of abundance in your life transform in ways you never imagined possible. The beauty of this practice is its simplicity. Anyone can do it, regardless of spiritual background. You don't need to be a Buddhist practitioner to benefit from these teachings. You just need to understand that everything around you is energy, and that by channeling that energy intentionally, you can attract the outcomes you desire. So, as we move into the practical steps of this ritual, remember, every detail matters. Each step you take is a step toward aligning your energy with the prosperity you seek. With the right focus and intention, you can begin to see the flow of abundance in your life transform in ways you never imagined possible. Number 2. Performing the Ritual Step 1. Setting the Stage for the Ritual Before starting this powerful ritual, it's essential to create a space that supports your intentions. 
Find a quiet, peaceful corner of your home where you won't be disturbed. This space should feel calm and comfortable, allowing you to focus your thoughts and energy. The environment you choose is important because it sets the tone for your mindset. In this moment, open your heart and mind to the possibilities of abundance and prosperity. Gather your materials, a glass of water, a spoonful of cinnamon, and a spoonful of sugar. Simple but significant ingredients for this ritual. Now that everything is ready, begin the ritual with mindfulness. Gently stir the cinnamon and sugar into the water. As you do this, take a moment to reflect on the power each ingredient holds. The cinnamon, with its warm, rich aroma, is known to attract prosperity and wealth. As you stir, imagine it pulling in opportunities and abundance from the universe. Visualize it forming a protective barrier around you, keeping negativity and financial struggles at bay. Then, as you add the sugar, focus on the sweetness it brings. Picture it infusing your life with harmony and happiness. Sugar represents the joy and fulfillment that come with financial success. With every stir, think about the sweetness spreading into all areas of your life, your relationships, your work, your health, bringing balance and contentment. Take your time during this process. Each stir is a step toward manifesting the wealth and abundance you seek. The key here is to fully direct your thoughts and energy into what you desire. Feel the growing strength of your intentions as they move beyond you into the universe, ready to come back as opportunities and blessings. As you continue, take slow, deep breaths. Stay present in the moment, grounding yourself in your intentions. Let yourself feel the calmness and power of the ritual surrounding you. This is more than just mixing ingredients. It's an act of spiritual alignment. By doing this, you're connecting your mind, body and spirit with the flow of abundance in the universe, positioning yourself to receive the prosperity you truly deserve. Step 2. Elevating the energy with music. To make this ritual even more powerful, introduce music into the process. Choose a song that genuinely uplifts you, something that brings back happy memories or fills you with a sense of joy and peace. Music has an incredible ability to raise our energy and shift our mood, and the higher your vibration, the more effective your intentions become. Let the melody surround you, creating a space of positivity, warmth and happiness. As the music plays, take this moment to immerse yourself in gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful emotional state, and the more thankful you feel, the more potent your ritual will be. Begin by appreciating the simple things in your life, the roof over your head, the food on your table, and the comfort of your bed. These basic things are blessings that we often overlook, but they form the foundation of abundance in our lives. As you reflect, extend your gratitude to the people who matter most, your family, your friends, and those who support and love you. These connections are part of the richness of life, and recognizing them draws even more positivity into your experience. We sometimes get caught up in chasing what we don't have, forgetting to be grateful for what's already here. When was the last time you truly appreciated the abundance you're already surrounded by? This practice of thankfulness helps open your heart and mind to receiving even more blessings. By focusing on the goodness already present in your life, you create an inviting space for more abundance to flow in. Step 3. Writing down your desires. Now take a quiet moment to clearly define your deepest desires and intentions. Grab a blank sheet of paper and be as specific as possible about what you want to invite into your life. If you're looking to attract wealth, write down the exact amount of money you'd like to receive. If you're seeking better health, describe in detail how you want to feel, whether it's love, 
happiness or success you desire, write it all down with intention and clarity. This act of writing is more than just symbolic. It sets your intentions into motion and aligns them with the energies you are working with. After you've written down your desires, take a moment to hold the paper in your hands. Close your eyes and imagine what it would feel like if everything you've written has already come true. Picture yourself living the life you desire. Feel the joy, the sense of peace, and the gratitude that comes with having everything you've asked for. Once you're fully immersed in that feeling, place the paper into the glass of water with the cinnamon and sugar mixture. This step is symbolic of soaking your desires in the energy of prosperity and sweetness. By doing this, you're aligning your intentions with the flow of abundance, trusting that your desires are now moving towards manifestation. Leave the glass in a safe, undisturbed place for the next three days. During this time, continue to carry the sense of gratitude and belief that what you've asked for is already on its way to you. This quiet patience is key to allowing your desires to unfold in their own time, supported by the energies you've set in motion. After writing down your desires and visualizing them coming true, do you feel a sense of peace and gratitude knowing that your intentions are already in motion? Comment yes if you're ready to trust the process or one if you're excited to try this step. Step four, trusting the process and letting go. For the next three days, while the ritual is working its magic, Remind yourself to stay grounded in gratitude and trust. Each time your mind returns to the ritual, consciously feel thankful and believe that the universe is already working to bring your desires to life. The paper you placed in the glass remains immersed in the water, absorbing the powerful energies of cinnamon and sugar, aligned with the intentions you've set for yourself. At the end of the three days, it's time to release your intentions back to nature. Take the glass and return the water, along with the paper, to the earth. You can pour it into your garden, onto a plant, or even into a flower pot. This act symbolizes giving your desires back to the universe, releasing control and trusting that the energy you've nurtured will continue to grow and manifest in your life at the right time. Just as planting a seed requires time and care, your intentions too need time to blossom. This step of releasing is a vital part of the process. As you pour the water out, let go of your intentions with faith, not holding on to them with worry or doubt. Trust that you've done your part, and now it's up to the universe to deliver what you need in the perfect time and way. By releasing your desires into the flow of nature, you are allowing them to grow naturally, just like a plant taking root and blooming when it's ready. Step five, practicing ongoing gratitude. After completing the ritual and letting your intentions soak in the water with cinnamon and sugar, your journey is far from over. The ritual is a starting point but what follows is the real key to unlocking abundance in your life, practicing conscious, ongoing gratitude. Each night before you fall asleep, take a few quiet moments to reflect on the blessings you already have. Begin by giving thanks for your health, the simple yet profound gift of being alive, breathing, and having the strength to pursue your dreams. Express gratitude for your loved ones, for the warmth, love and joy that family and friends bring into your life. In the whirlwind of daily responsibilities, it's easy to overlook these blessings, but by taking the time to appreciate them, you raise your energy and align yourself with the universe's natural flow of abundance. Gratitude isn't just about what you currently have. It's also about giving thanks for what's on its way to you Here's a powerful secret to manifesting your desires. 
When you express gratitude for something as if it has already manifested in your life, you create an energetic shift. Visualize what it would feel like to already possess the wealth, health, happiness and love that you wrote down during the ritual. Imagine the joy and fulfillment of having your desires realized and let those feelings wash over you. This emotional shift sends a clear message to the universe. You're not just asking for abundance, you're living as though it's already here. By embodying the feeling of having already achieved your desires, you open yourself up to the universal energy that supports your goals and brings them into reality. In the days following the ritual, make gratitude a daily practice. This will help you maintain a high vibration that aligns you with the energy of prosperity. It's not only about believing that abundance is coming your way, but also about feeling truly worthy of it. This practice encourages you to trust that the universe is working in your favor, even when the results aren't immediately visible. A modern teaching rooted in Buddhist wisdom reminds us, let go of the attachment to how and when things will happen and trust the timing of the universe. When we release our need to control outcomes and focus on gratitude, we open the door for the universe to work in miraculous ways. Often, what we desire arrives in forms or times we hadn't expected, but always when it's meant to. Practicing gratitude creates a deep sense of fulfillment. When you're thankful for both what you have and what is on its way, you generate an energy that draws even more blessings into your life. It's important not to get caught up in impatience or worry over how and when your desires will manifest. The universe has its own perfect timing and your role is to remain in a state of gratitude, trusting that everything is already in motion. Just as a seed needs time, water and sunlight to grow, your desires need nurturing through consistent gratitude. Keep your vibrations high, knowing that abundance is already yours. As the Dalai Lama wisely said, happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. Your gratitude is an action, one that brings results by aligning you with the flow of abundance. This nightly gratitude practice is more than a simple exercise. It's a way of cultivating the energy of abundance. By consistently expressing thanks as if all your desires are already fulfilled, you accelerate the manifestation process. This opens doors for opportunities, resources and connections to come into your life effortlessly. You'll begin to notice how the right people and circumstances align with your goals, helping you achieve what you've set out to manifest. Even if you don't see immediate changes, trust that you are on the right path. The key to this practice is consistency. Continue expressing gratitude, keep faith in the unseen forces working behind the scenes, and trust that the results will appear when the timing is right. Remember the words of Thich Nhat Hanh, because you are alive, everything is possible. With gratitude, patience and trust, you are creating a life filled with abundance, success and peace. Number three, the ritual is only a part, action is the key. Performing a ritual with faith and intention can open many doors to abundance but it's important to remember that rituals alone won't bring instant success or change. The universe may align in your favor, but action is the key to turning possibilities into reality. If you're seeking more financial wealth, for example, it's not enough to simply wish for more money. Reflect on practical steps you can take to manifest that desire. Could it be the right time to explore new income opportunities invest in something that feels aligned with your values, or sharpen your skills to increase your earning potential. By analyzing your options and moving toward what you want, you set the stage for real, meaningful transformation. Remember, the ritual opens doors, 
but it's up to you to walk through them with intention and purpose. Now, if you're looking for a new job or a career shift, it's essential to go beyond the ritual and actively seek opportunities. Just waiting for the perfect job to land in your lap will likely lead to frustration. Have you updated your resume? Are you reaching out to people in your network and letting them know you're seeking new opportunities? Often, by simply putting your intentions into action, you'll attract unexpected opportunities and connections. The energy you put into motion through your actions aligns with the opportunities the universe provides. The universe responds to those who take deliberate action, and this alignment between your energy and your intentions can create the path for the very success you seek. If better health is your goal, this ritual can support your intentions by giving you strength and clarity, but daily habits are just as crucial. Reflect on how you're taking care of yourself right now. Are you choosing foods that truly nourish your body and give you energy? Have you found physical activities that bring you joy and make you feel alive? Consider your mental health as well. How are you feeding your mind? By making healthier daily choices, you align your body, mind and spirit with the healing energy of the universe. The Buddha taught, to keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our mind strong and clear. The universe is here to guide you toward the right solutions for your health, but you are the one who must take the steps. It's essential to understand that while rituals create the ideal environment for possibilities to emerge, you are the one who must take the necessary steps to make those possibilities real. The magic of the universe works hand in hand with your actions. When you combine intention, gratitude and effort, the potential for abundance multiplies. Success isn't the result of luck or fate. It's the outcome of your personal alignment with the energy you desire and the actions you take to manifest it. The Buddha once said, no one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. This partnership between the universe's energy and your effort is what creates true success. From my heart to yours, I hope this ritual brings positive transformation into your life as it has into mine. When you truly connect with your inner energy and align it with the flow of the universe, incredible things begin to unfold. Never underestimate the power of your desires and dreams. They are the most real and profound expressions of your purpose. Your dreams are the guideposts for what you're meant to achieve in this lifetime and this ritual is a tool to help unlock the energy that drives you toward your higher purpose. But remember, the real transformation begins within you. It starts with your faith, your gratitude, and your willingness to take action. The fact that you're here, seeking ways to improve your life, is already a significant step on your path to abundance. You've already begun to connect with the energies of prosperity and that connection will grow stronger with each step you take. Gratitude, faith and action. These are your greatest allies on this journey. Every day, practice gratitude for the blessings you already have and keep the confidence that the universe is conspiring in your favor. As you take small, consistent actions, you build momentum for the great changes you wish to see in your life. A jug fills drop by drop, said the Buddha, reminding us that even the smallest actions contribute to lasting transformation. Now, I invite you to participate in a powerful practice of affirmation and gratitude. In the comments, share a positive affirmation that reflects your trust in the abundance that's flowing into your life. You might write something like, I am worthy of all the abundance and prosperity life has to offer, or my dreams are already becoming my reality. This act of affirmation is a way to reinforce your intention and show that you're committed to your personal transformation. It also strengthens the energy of gratitude in your life, attracting even more positive results. Thank you for being here, for your trust 
and for your commitment to bettering your life. The journey to abundance is not just about external wealth, but about becoming rich in spirit, in purpose, and in the fulfillment of your deepest dreams. 10 Ways to Achieve Health, Wealth and Happiness Buddhist Teachings In Buddhism, health, wealth and happiness all stem from cultivating the mind and acting with mindfulness. Here are 10 ways to achieve these three elements based on the teachings of the Buddha. 1. Practice Mindfulness One of the most powerful tools for achieving health, wealth and happiness is mindfulness, a cornerstone of Buddhist practice. Mindfulness invites us to live with full awareness, deeply connected to each moment. In modern life, where distractions abound and stress is constant, mindfulness becomes even more critical. By practicing mindfulness, you train your mind to focus on the present, breaking the cycles of anxiety over the future or regret over the past. This conscious presence allows you to respond to situations with clarity and wisdom, rather than being swept away by emotions or stress. It cultivates both mental and physical purity by helping you become more aware of your thoughts, actions and their effects. In Buddhism, it's said that peace comes from within. Do not seek it without, a reminder that our true well-being lies in how we perceive and respond to the world. In the context of health, mindfulness helps us recognize how our habits, whether in eating, sleeping or exercising, affect our physical well-being. By paying close attention to what we put into our bodies and how we treat them, we can make conscious decisions that promote vitality and strength. This attentiveness also extends to our mental health, allowing us to notice the early signs of stress or burnout before they spiral into bigger issues. When you're mindful, you're not merely going through the motions of life, but are actively engaging in it, which reduces stress and creates a sense of balance. For wealth, mindfulness plays a crucial role in shaping our relationship with money and material possessions. By being aware of our desires and motivations, we can prevent ourselves from falling into the trap of materialism, where happiness is falsely equated with the accumulation of things. Instead, mindfulness encourages us to find contentment with what we have and make wise financial decisions based on our true needs, not impulsive wants. As the Buddha once taught, the root of suffering is attachment. Mindfulness allows us to loosen our grip on the idea that material wealth is the key to happiness, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling approach to prosperity. Happiness, the ultimate goal, flourishes when mindfulness is present. When we are mindful, we experience life more deeply, finding joy in even the simplest moments. We become aware of the beauty in ordinary things, the warmth of the sun, the sound of laughter, or the taste of a meal. This awareness fosters gratitude, which is a powerful driver of happiness. The Dalai Lama often says, happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. Mindfulness trains us to notice the positive aspects of our lives and act in ways that foster happiness, both for ourselves and for others. In today's fast-paced world, where our attention is constantly pulled in different directions, practicing mindfulness is like finding an anchor in a storm. It helps us navigate the complexities of modern life with calm and focus. Whether you're managing the demands of a career, raising a family, or pursuing personal goals, mindfulness provides the clarity and inner peace needed to make decisions that align with your true values. The practice encourages us to slow down, to breathe, and to appreciate the life we are living right now, rather than rushing through it in search of some elusive future happiness. By integrating mindfulness into your daily routine, whether through meditation, mindful eating, 
or simply taking a few moments each day to pause and reflect, you lay the foundation for long-term health, wealth and happiness. You begin to see that these three elements are deeply interconnected. Health allows us the energy to pursue wealth. Wealth provides the security to enjoy happiness and happiness feeds back into both our physical and mental well-being. Through mindfulness, you cultivate a life that is not only successful, but also deeply meaningful and fulfilling. 2. Meditate daily. One of the most powerful ways to cultivate lasting health, wealth and happiness in your life is through daily meditation. Meditation is much more than just sitting in silence. It is an essential practice that brings you closer to your true self, helps you balance your mind and emotions, and reduces the stress that weighs so heavily on your body and mind. In today's fast-paced world, where the pressures of life can feel overwhelming, it's easy to get caught up in distractions, anxieties, and the never-ending rush of to-do lists. But meditation offers you a way out of that cycle. By dedicating even a few minutes each day to sitting quietly and focusing on your breath, you give yourself the gift of peace. As the Buddha said, meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leaves ignorance. This wisdom emerges when you allow your mind to settle and become aware of the thoughts that normally drive your emotions and actions. Have you ever wondered why so much of your energy is spent worrying about the future or regretting the past? Meditation is a way to pull yourself back into the present, where life truly unfolds. By staying connected to the present moment, you can experience joy and contentment right where you are, without needing to chase it somewhere else. Think of meditation as a way of tuning in to your own inner world. When you sit in meditation, you're training your mind to become more self-aware. Self-awareness is crucial because it allows you to recognize patterns in your thoughts and feelings that may be limiting your growth and happiness. Once you become aware of these patterns, you can begin to let them go. And when you let go of the mental clutter that fills your mind, whether it's fear, anger or attachment, you make room for clarity and calm. This clarity has a ripple effect on your entire life. Have you noticed how, when your mind is calm and clear, you make better decisions? That's one of the hidden benefits of meditation. It improves your judgment and your ability to respond to life's challenges with wisdom instead of reacting impulsively. This is a key to achieving both inner peace and external success, whether you are seeking health, wealth or happiness. Moreover, meditation deepens your connection with the present moment. How often do you feel fully present in your life? Many of us go through the day in a kind of haze, distracted by our thoughts or consumed by stress. But when you meditate, you train your mind to stay focused on the now, and the present moment is where happiness lives. It's not somewhere in the distant future, waiting for you to achieve your goals, and it's not lost in the past. As Thich Nhat Han said, the present moment is the only moment available to us, and it is the door to all moments. When you start to practice this awareness, you'll notice that even the simple things in life like the warmth of the sun on your face or the taste of your morning tea, become sources of happiness. This kind of happiness is not dependent on external circumstances. It's a state of being that arises from within. It's a peace that is unshaken by the ups and downs of life. So I invite you to ask yourself, are you living in the present moment or are you constantly pulled into the past or future by your thoughts? How often do you take the time to truly connect with yourself? Meditation is not about escaping reality, but about seeing reality more clearly. It's about developing the kind of inner strength and awareness that allows you to meet life's challenges with grace and compassion. And when you do, 
you will find that the path to health, wealth and happiness begins to unfold naturally. Isn't it worth taking just a few moments each day to sit in silence and discover the wellspring of peace and joy that already exists within you? The journey starts with one breath and each breath brings you closer to a life of balance and fulfillment. 3. Mindful and Proper Eating When it comes to achieving health, wealth and happiness, a key practice rooted in Buddhist teachings is mindful and proper eating. This is not just about the food we eat, but how we approach each meal with awareness, gratitude and respect for what nourishes our body and mind. Imagine the power of transforming something as ordinary as eating into a spiritual practice that benefits your overall well-being. How often do we rush through meals, barely tasting the food in front of us, or consume more than we need, simply out of habit or distraction? Buddha taught that everything we do, even something as simple as eating, can be a form of meditation, a way to be present and in tune with the flow of life. By eating mindfully, you are making a conscious effort to slow down, savor every bite, and listen to your body's needs. This not only enhances digestion and improves your health, but also cultivates a deep sense of gratitude. You begin to appreciate the effort that went into producing the food, how it was grown, harvested and prepared, acknowledging the interconnectedness of life. In Buddhist monasteries, monks and nuns are taught to reflect on their meals, silently contemplating the sources of their food and the people who made it possible. They do this not just to feel thankful, but to remind themselves of their place in a larger cycle of giving and receiving, a balance that keeps harmony in life. One ancient Buddhist story that beautifully illustrates this is the tale of the monk who lived by a simple rule, eat only as much as you need, never more, never less. This monk was known for his radiant health and calm demeanor. Curious, a villager once asked him, why do you always seem so peaceful while many of us are restless and dissatisfied? The monk smiled and explained, When I eat, I eat. When I walk, I walk. And when I sleep, I sleep. But many people, when they eat, they think of walking. When they walk, they think of sleeping. And when they sleep, they think of eating. Their minds are never where their bodies are. This wisdom of being fully present in every action, especially while eating, is a lesson in living harmoniously. How often are we truly present with our meals or even with the simple joys of life? Mindful eating also teaches us the value of moderation and balance. Consuming only what is necessary helps us avoid excess, which is a path to both better health and greater contentment. In a world where abundance often leads to overindulgence, mindful eating invites you to examine your relationship with food. Are you eating to satisfy hunger? Or are you eating to fill an emotional void? This simple reflection can help you avoid the pitfalls of waste and overconsumption. By recognizing when you've had enough, you not only maintain your physical well-being, but also cultivate a sense of self-discipline and respect for the resources that sustain you. Moreover, avoiding waste is an essential aspect of mindful eating. Food waste is a significant issue today, not only on a personal level, but also globally. By being mindful of the food we consume, we contribute to a more sustainable world, ensuring that resources are used wisely and shared with those in need. In Buddhism, every resource is considered precious, and wasting what we have is seen as a form of disrespect to life itself. By eating mindfully and with purpose, you embody the values of gratitude, respect and stewardship, which in turn brings a deeper sense of happiness and fulfillment into your life. So, how can you start practicing mindful eating in your daily life? 
Begin by taking a moment before each meal to express gratitude for the food on your plate. Eat slowly, without distractions, and truly savor the flavors and textures of your meal. Pay attention to how your body feels and stop eating when you are satisfied, not stuffed. Notice how this simple practice shifts your relationship with food, making you more aware of your habits and more appreciative of the nourishment you receive. The lesson here is simple yet profound. By eating mindfully, you not only improve your health, but also develop a deeper connection with the world around you. This practice encourages gratitude, mindfulness and moderation, all of which are essential ingredients for a happy, healthy life. The next time you sit down for a meal, ask yourself, am I present? Am I grateful? Am I consuming only what I need? In these simple questions lie the keys to unlocking a life of balance and inner peace. If you've made it this far, you're already embracing the path to health, wealth and happiness through Buddhist wisdom. Comment below with Buddhist Journey to affirm your commitment to these transformative teachings. Stay with us. There are still powerful insights ahead that will guide you toward a life of true prosperity and inner peace. 4. Giving and Contributing Giving and contributing is a profound teaching within Buddhism, one that goes beyond the simple act of offering material things. According to the Buddha, true wealth is not measured solely by what we receive, but also by what we give. When we practice generosity, we tap into a fundamental law of the universe. The more we give, the more we receive, not necessarily in material terms, but in the wealth of joy, fulfillment, and spiritual abundance. This aligns with the idea that generosity cultivates a heart full of compassion and empathy, qualities that attract not just spiritual blessings, but also prosperity in various forms. By sharing what we have, we create a ripple effect of positivity, influencing others to act generously as well, and this flow of kindness often returns to us in unexpected ways. The Buddha once said, the gift of the Dharma excels all gifts, highlighting that the sharing of wisdom and kindness is far more valuable than material wealth. In our modern fast-paced world, we often associate success and happiness with accumulating possessions or achieving financial milestones. However, the teaching of generosity reminds us that real wealth lies in the quality of our relationships our impact on others and the good we do in the world. Giving, therefore, should not be limited to monetary donations. It can be as simple as offering your time, lending a listening ear or sharing knowledge and skills. These acts of kindness can lead to a deeper sense of connection and purpose, which are crucial for our emotional and spiritual well-being. A famous quote from Lao Tzu reinforces this principle. The wise man does not lay up treasure. The more he gives to others, the more he has for his own. This timeless wisdom shows that the mindset of abundance flows naturally from the act of giving. When you approach life with an open heart, willing to contribute to the welfare of others, you inadvertently attract both material and spiritual wealth into your own life. In today's society, Many men, especially those between 30 and 65, often find themselves burdened with responsibilities, providing for their families, excelling in their careers, and managing various life pressures. In this stage of life, the instinct might be to accumulate and hold on to resources for security, but the Buddhist perspective encourages us to see that wealth is like a flowing river. If it is hoarded or blocked, it becomes stagnant, but when it flows freely, it nourishes everything it touches. By practicing generosity, you align yourself with the natural flow of life. Not only do you experience a deeper sense of peace and contentment, but you also build trust and goodwill within your community. This can lead to increased opportunities, better relationships, and a more meaningful life. 
When you contribute to others, whether through money, time or effort, you send a message to the universe that you believe in abundance and that mindset is magnetic. This is not to say that giving should be transactional, but rather that when you give with an open and sincere heart, the universe responds in kind. As the Buddha taught, if you knew what I know about the power of giving, you would not let a single meal pass without sharing it. Incorporating this practice into your daily life can be simple. Start by identifying areas where you can give more, whether it's to your family, friends, or even strangers. Small acts of kindness, done consistently, can transform not only your life, but the lives of those around you. Generosity also extends beyond individual actions. Contributing to larger causes, supporting your community, or mentoring younger generations are ways to leave a lasting legacy. In this way, you are not just building wealth for yourself, but you are also helping to create a world where kindness and compassion thrive. This is the essence of Buddhist teachings on giving. It is not just about material wealth, but about creating a life of meaning, connection and inner joy. To conclude, remember that in giving, you open yourself to receiving life's true riches, as you navigate the balance between personal ambitions and societal expectations, let generosity be your guide. In giving, you become a part of something much larger than yourself, and in doing so, you find the kind of fulfillment that no amount of material success can provide. 5. Keep a pure mind Keeping a pure mind is one of the most profound teachings in Buddhism and is essential for achieving true health, wealth and happiness. When we talk about maintaining a pure mind, we are referring to the practice of cleansing our thoughts of anger, greed and ignorance, the three poisons that cloud our judgment and harm our well-being. But how can we, in our busy and often chaotic lives, maintain a mind that is free from these destructive emotions. You might think it's a tall order, but in reality, it's about taking small intentional steps every day to cultivate mindfulness, compassion and wisdom. Imagine for a moment how your life would change if you learned to respond to anger with patience, if you viewed greed with contentment, and if you replaced ignorance with curiosity and understanding. Now, Let's break it down. Anger, greed and ignorance are not just emotions we experience from time to time. They are habits of the mind that often take root in subtle ways. Have you ever noticed how easily anger arises when things don't go as planned? Or how greed sneaks in when we compare ourselves to others, wishing we had what they have? Ignorance, too, is often present when we cling to our limited perspectives refusing to see the broader picture. When we hold on to these emotions, they weigh us down, creating inner turmoil and blocking the path to peace. But when we practice purifying our mind, we let go of these toxic feelings, making space for joy, clarity and balance. So, how do you begin the practice of purifying your mind? Start by becoming aware of your thoughts, this is where mindfulness comes in. Notice when anger, greed or ignorance starts to surface and instead of feeding those thoughts, acknowledge them and gently release them. Another powerful practice is cultivating loving-kindness, also known as metta in Buddhism. When you focus on sending love and kindness to yourself and others, it becomes almost impossible to hold on to negative emotions. As the Dalai Lama beautifully said, just as ripples spread out when a single pebble is dropped into water, the actions of individuals can have far-reaching effects. A pure mind begins with loving yourself and others, spreading waves of compassion and transforming the way you experience the world. When you let go of anger, you create peace. When you release greed, you find contentment. And when you overcome ignorance, you open the door to wisdom. 
Think for a moment about the last time you felt at peace. What were you doing? Where were you? Was it a moment of stillness, or perhaps a time when you were fully present, not distracted by worry or desire? The truth is, we often feel most at peace when our mind is uncluttered and pure. Purifying your mind is like tending to a garden. You need to constantly pull out the weeds of negativity while nurturing the flowers of positive thoughts and emotions. This practice not only benefits your own happiness, but also improves your relationships and your ability to connect with others on a deeper level. What would your life look like if you actively worked to keep your mind pure? What opportunities for joy and happiness might unfold if you simply let go of the anger, greed and ignorance that hold you back? These are powerful questions to reflect on as you move through your day. Remember, a pure mind isn't something you achieve once and then forget about. It's a daily practice a lifelong journey of self-awareness and inner cultivation. And the beauty of this journey is that every step you take brings you closer to true health, wealth and happiness. Buddha's teachings remind us that the mind is the source of all suffering, but also the source of all liberation. What we choose to nurture in our mind ultimately shapes the quality of our life. So. Are you ready to take the first step toward purifying your mind and transforming your world? 6. Work with Righteous Purpose Work is an essential part of life, and in Buddhism, it's not just about earning a living, it's about aligning your efforts with a greater purpose. One of the core teachings of the Buddha is to work with righteousness, which means to engage in activities that are ethical, honest, and beneficial to others. When you put integrity at the forefront of your work, you're not only creating material wealth, but also cultivating a deeper sense of spiritual fulfillment. Think about this. What good is it to amass wealth if it comes at the expense of others or causes harm in the world? True success, from a Buddhist perspective, is one that enriches your soul while helping others prosper too. To illustrate this idea, let me share a story of a humble potter from ancient times whose life exemplified the beauty of working with a righteous purpose. This potter, though he was poor, took great pride in his craft. Every pot he made was formed with care and dedication, and he refused to compromise on quality even when it meant making less money than others who cut corners. One day, a wealthy merchant visited him, looking to purchase a large number of pots at a cheaper price. The potter, however, declined the offer, saying, I cannot sell what does not meet my standards, even for all the riches in the world. The merchant was impressed by the potter's principles and, in turn, offered a fair price for the pots, praising the potter's honesty. Over time, the potter became well known, not for his wealth, but for the goodness and integrity that radiated from his work. In the end, his life was rich in both material comfort and the respect of his community. This story teaches us that when we stay true to our values, even in difficult circumstances, we cultivate something far more valuable than gold, peace of mind and a heart full of joy. Now, take a moment to reflect on your own work. Are you doing what you love? Are you helping others in some way through your efforts? When we align our careers with our values, it transforms our daily tasks from mundane routines into a form of service, creating a ripple effect that touches everyone around us. You don't have to be perfect, but each step you take toward righteous work is a step toward true happiness and fulfillment. Ask yourself, what can I do today to bring more meaning and purpose into my work? How can I ensure that my actions benefit not just myself, but those around me? Buddhism reminds us that wealth isn't inherently wrong. It's how we acquire and use it that matters. Wealth gained through deception, exploitation or harm 
may bring temporary pleasure, but leaves behind suffering, both for ourselves and for others. On the other hand, when we engage in work that's honorable, the wealth we accumulate feels lighter, brighter, and it comes with a sense of joy because we know we've earned it in a way that doesn't harm anyone. This is how spiritual wealth begins to grow alongside material success. As the Buddha said, happiness comes when your work and words are of benefit to yourself and others. In conclusion, working with righteous purpose brings about balance in your life. It fosters both outer success and inner peace, allowing you to thrive in a way that's good for you and for society. The next time you find yourself overwhelmed by work or questioning its meaning, remember the story of the potter, who stayed true to his values and gained more than just financial reward. Let this inspire you to approach your work with the same integrity and mindfulness. In doing so, you'll not only succeed materially, but also find deep, lasting happiness. So, how will you bring righteousness into your work today? The lesson here is simple. Work in ways that uplift others, and you will uplift yourself. Thank you for being here with us today. Before we move on to the next segment, I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude for your presence. It's a joy to have you as part of our growing community. If today's teachings on abundance and the cinnamon ritual resonate with you, please feel free to share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. If you're new, just type, I am new to let us know. Or if you've been with us for a while, comment, I am abundant. Your participation not only connects us, but also motivates us to keep sharing these meaningful practices. Let's continue this path to abundance together, shall we? 7. Contentment Contentment is one of the most profound and beautiful teachings in Buddhism. It's a reminder that true happiness doesn't come from constantly chasing after more, more money, more possessions, or even more achievements, but rather from recognizing and appreciating what you already have. Imagine how much more peaceful your life could be if you truly knew what it meant to be content. The Buddha once said, contentment is the greatest wealth. And this points to a deep truth that the endless pursuit of external things never leads to lasting happiness. Why? Because desires are like an endless river. As soon as you attain one thing, your mind creates another craving. Have you ever noticed how quickly the joy of buying something new fades away? Or how reaching a goal can sometimes lead to the creation of yet another goal? This cycle of wanting and getting is exhausting, and it never brings true fulfillment. Contentment is the antidote to this cycle. When you practice contentment, you shift your focus from what you lack to what you have. It's about realizing that you already possess everything you need to be happy. Take a moment to reflect on this. What if, instead of always thinking about the next thing you want, you paused to appreciate the blessings already present in your life, your health, your relationships, the simple beauty of nature. These are forms of wealth that we often overlook because we're too busy wanting more. Contentment invites you to slow down and truly enjoy what's in front of you. It's about finding joy in the present moment rather than waiting for some future achievement to bring you happiness. Now, Contentment doesn't mean giving up on all your goals or ambitions. It's not about becoming passive or complacent. Instead, it's about finding a balance where you can pursue your dreams without being consumed by them. The Buddha said, Health is the greatest gift, contentment the greatest wealth, faithfulness the best relationship. This means that contentment is a form of wealth far greater than any material possession because it leads to a deep sense of inner peace. Think of it like this. When you know what is enough, you free yourself from the constant pressure of wanting more and you can truly enjoy what you have. Isn't that the kind of peace we all long for? 
But how do we cultivate contentment in a world that constantly tells us we need more? It starts with mindfulness and gratitude. When you take time each day to mindfully reflect on the things you're grateful for, you begin to train your mind to focus on abundance rather than scarcity. You start to realize that happiness is not something that can be bought or achieved. It's something that's cultivated from within. Ask yourself, what do I already have that brings me joy? By shifting your mindset, you allow contentment to naturally arise and with it comes a deep sense of peace and satisfaction. In a society that equates success with having more, choosing contentment can feel revolutionary. But imagine how liberating it would be to let go of the idea that happiness lies in the next big purchase or the next promotion. When you understand that true happiness is about knowing what is enough, you reclaim your power. You stop looking outside yourself for fulfillment and start nurturing the inner wealth that is already yours. The journey to contentment is not about abandoning your dreams, but about making peace with where you are right now. So I ask you, what is enough for you? And how might your life change if you embraced contentment today? 8. Compassion and Love Compassion and love are at the heart of true happiness and fulfillment, and this timeless truth is echoed in both Buddhist teachings and modern science. When we show kindness to others, the benefits go far beyond just making them feel good. It's a cycle that comes back to nourish our own well-being. Compassion isn't merely a feeling, it's a conscious practice of opening our hearts to the suffering of others. And by doing so, we create a ripple effect that not only transforms the lives of those around us, but also enhances our own physical and mental health. The Buddha said, radiate boundless love towards the entire world, emphasizing that compassion knows no boundaries. It's a quality that transcends personal differences bringing people closer together in a shared sense of humanity. By actively cultivating compassion in our daily lives, whether through small acts of kindness or significant gestures of support, we set the foundation for deeper connections with others, which in turn reduces feelings of isolation and loneliness. Modern studies on happiness have shown that engaging in compassionate activities such as volunteering or simply lending an ear to a friend in need, triggers the release of oxytocin, often called the love hormone, which reduces stress and boosts our overall mood. This aligns with the Buddhist concept of interconnectedness, where the happiness of one individual is inseparable from the happiness of all beings. As Thich Nhat Hanh beautifully said, compassion is a verb, reminding us that love in action has the power to heal not only others, but also ourselves. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to become consumed by personal ambitions or weighed down by the pressures of everyday life. However, by making compassion a priority, we shift the focus away from material gains and individual concerns toward a broader sense of purpose. When we act with compassion, we are not only supporting others in their journey, but also contributing to our own inner peace. The Dalai Lama often speaks about how our well-being is deeply connected to our relationships with others. If you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. This simple yet profound advice reminds us that happiness isn't something we chase externally. It's cultivated through the love and care we give to those around us. Moreover, compassion has a healing power that can transform even the most challenging relationships. In a society where competition and individualism are often emphasized, practicing empathy allows us to see beyond the surface recognizing the shared human experience in each person we encounter. This understanding fosters forgiveness, reduces conflict, and leads to more harmonious interactions, which ultimately contribute to a more peaceful and fulfilled life. The energy we invest in compassion not only strengthens our relationships, 
but also reflects back onto us, making us more resilient in the face of life's challenges. For men seeking health, wealth and happiness, practicing compassion may seem like an abstract concept compared to tangible goals like financial success or physical fitness, but its impact is profound and far-reaching. True wealth is not measured solely by money in the bank, but by the richness of our connections and the depth of our relationships. Compassion enriches our lives in ways that material possessions never can, offering us a sense of fulfillment and contentment that money cannot buy. By nurturing compassion, we create a life filled with meaning and purpose, one that is truly worth living. In conclusion, by embracing compassion and love for all beings, we unlock a powerful source of happiness that benefits not only those around us, but also ourselves. Compassion leads to stronger relationships, improved mental and physical health, and a more peaceful and fulfilled existence. As you go through life, remember the words of the Buddha, Hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. This is the eternal rule. When we approach life with an open heart, we not only find happiness, but also contribute to the happiness of others, creating a cycle of positivity and joy that enriches us all. So as you pursue your goals, whether they be health, wealth or happiness, remember that the key lies in your capacity for compassion and love. 9. Let go of attachment and resentment. Letting go of attachment and resentment is one of the most powerful lessons we can learn on our journey toward health, wealth and happiness. In Buddhism, the Buddha teaches us that clinging to people, material things or even ideas creates suffering. When we become overly attached to the things we want or think we need, we set ourselves up for disappointment because everything in life is impermanent. Nothing lasts forever. Our relationships, possessions or even our youth and health. By attaching our happiness to these fleeting things, we give them power over our well-being. Have you ever asked yourself, why do I feel so much pain when I lose something or someone I care about? This suffering comes not from the loss itself, but from our attachment to it. The Buddha said, you only lose what you cling to, reminding us that the source of our pain is not the event or change, but our refusal to let go. By learning to release these attachments, we free ourselves from unnecessary suffering and stress. Resentment is another heavy burden many of us carry without even realizing it. We often hold grudges against those who have hurt us, thinking that by holding on to this anger, we are somehow protecting ourselves. But in reality, resentment only harms us. It festers inside, causing emotional and even physical harm. Imagine holding onto a hot coal with the intention of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. This is what resentment does to our minds and bodies. It's a form of self-punishment that drains our energy, poisons our relationships and clouds our ability to find peace. The Buddha wisely said, holding onto anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is the antidote. It doesn't mean forgetting what happened or excusing bad behavior, but it does mean freeing yourself from the emotional chains of the past. When you forgive, you are not condoning. You are choosing peace over suffering. How does this relate to your health and well-being? Studies show that holding on to negative emotions, such as resentment and anger, can lead to stress-related illnesses like heart disease, insomnia, and even a weakened immune system. On the flip side, practicing forgiveness and letting go can reduce anxiety, improve heart health, and increase your overall sense of happiness. Imagine how light and free you would feel if you no longer carried the weight of grudges or the fear of losing what you have. Wouldn't that be liberating? 
This is why learning to let go is crucial, not just for emotional peace, but for your physical health as well. But how can you begin to let go of something that feels so deeply ingrained? The first step is awareness. Acknowledge what you're holding on to and how it affects your life. Ask yourself, what am I clinging to and why? Is it a past relationship that didn't work out, a job you lost, or maybe even a dream that didn't come true? Once you identify these attachments, practice non-attachment by shifting your mindset. Instead of thinking of these things as essential to your happiness, recognize them as temporary experiences in the ever-changing flow of life. When you allow life to flow without grasping or resisting, you open yourself up to new possibilities and experiences that you might have otherwise missed. Forgiveness works the same way. Start by forgiving yourself for past mistakes. After all, none of us are perfect. We all make choices that, in hindsight, we may wish we had made differently. But dwelling on those regrets only keeps us stuck in the past. The Buddha encouraged us to be compassionate, not only toward others, but also toward ourselves, saying, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. When you forgive yourself, you are giving yourself permission to grow and move forward. Then, extend that compassion to others. Forgiving those who have hurt you doesn't mean you have to forget what happened or let them back into your life. It simply means you are no longer allowing their actions to control your emotions. So I ask you, what are you holding on to today that you need to let go of? What attachments or resentments are preventing you from experiencing true happiness and peace? The path to health, wealth and happiness is not just about what you gain, but also about what you release. In letting go, you create space in your life for joy, love and abundance to enter. Are you ready to free yourself from the chains of attachment and resentment and embrace a lighter, healthier and more peaceful way of living? Thank you so much for joining me today on The Journey of Wisdom. I hope these teachings on using cinnamon and sugar as a simple but powerful ritual on October 15th bring abundance and prosperity into your life as they have for many others. Remember, wealth isn't just about money. It's about aligning with the flow of the universe and opening yourself to all forms of abundance, health, happiness and peace. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming videos filled with more wisdom and practical teachings. Your support helps us continue sharing these valuable insights with more people. Until next time, stay mindful, stay grateful and keep walking the path of wisdom.